check out how continuous Novak's forehand and backhand ground strokes are. What I mean is the moment he leaves the ready position, his racket just smoothly continues until contact. Now, the key to having this continuous and smooth swing so that you can handle pace and depth from your opponent is that you need to begin your unit turn before the ball crosses the net. Let's check out this backhand right here. Here, he is facing his opponent, obviously, so his chest is facing the opponent. And then here, his body is completely side on to the net, right? His body's facing to the side. And they actually turn past that. They always turn about 100 degrees on their shoulders, uh, with their shoulders, forehands and two-handed backhands. One-handers actually turn more. One-handers have more body rotation um, than a two-hander. But notice his opponent can see his back. Go out and film yourself. And I want you to check something when you check the footage. So film yourself from this exact angle. Make sure that you are beginning your unit turn where your body goes from facing the, the opponent to going past 90 degrees and getting to about 110 degrees, 100 to 110 degrees of rotation, you need to begin that turn before the ball crosses the net. So here the ball is struck and the ball is crossing the net right about there. That's about the time the ball is crossing the net. And check this out. Look where his racket is. Novak's racket is already turned and that's because his shoulders are turning. He is beginning the shoulder turn and the unit turn before the ball ever crosses the net. You watch so many recreational players wait for the bounce. And then they wait for the, or, or begin the take back. And you'll never be able to handle the pace and depth from your opponent. Here's another one, right? The ball has not crossed the net yet. There's the contact. Ball's crossing the service line there. Ball's crossing the net right there. And look, he's already started to turn the shoulders. There, the ball is crossing the service line. And then he's hitting. You need to begin the unit turn when the ball is on the other side of the net. This is the key to handling. This is a great example of it. Just look how early you can see the ball over his right shoulder. So right there, the ball's over his own serve, the opponent's own service line. Here's the ball crossing the net. And look, we can already see his shoulders. So this is the type of footage you need to look through for your own game. Go out and film yourself from the back view. Make sure that your shoulder turn is early so that you can have a smooth, continuous swing. This is how you handle pace and depth from your opponents. Now you've seen me analyze the pros, but would you like me to analyze you? Click the link in the description or just wait till the end of the video when the link will pop up on the screen and order a video stroke analysis lesson. This is where you choose the stroke that you want me to analyze for you. I put you side by side with the pros and give you a list of what you're doing correctly and what you need to change in order to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. I cannot wait to help you play the best tennis of your life. So click right there if you'd like me to analyze your technique with a video stroke analysis lesson and go ahead and film yourself and check to see, are your shoulders beginning the unit turn while the ball is on the other side of the net? If you are, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.